Hi everyone, it's Baxter Nichols. I know this video is going to come out late, but I wanted to do this little thing called a Christmas haul. Just basically to show everyone what I got for Christmas. So let's get started. So what I have here first is called a giant stress ball. Now, I don't get stressed easily, but when I do get stressed, it's really hard for me to control it. So this will definitely be useful for me. And look what I can do with it. Satisfying, huh? Uh, something similar to that is I got this amazing putty. And it's saying that it's glow-in-the-dark. I haven't really tested to see if it's actually glow-in-the-dark, but I really do love playing with this. So, here are the big things that I got. So, if you can't tell by now, I'm a Lego collector and so right now I have about 39 including the architectures so 39 I have 39 Lego sets my goal is to make it up to 40 so right here I have the Shanghai Lego set. And then and then I also have the Las Vegas set. Here it is. I do I did get a third one for Christmas, but that one was a repeat with what I already have. So, you can probably place in the comments if you think that that should count as a set, as another addition to my collection or not. But right now, I'm saying that I have 39. Anywho, Uh, it's probably going to be mirrored in the video, but this is a Chia Pet. It's a Chia Pet, Chia Pet specifically of Dustin from Stranger Things. So that is my favorite show of this generation. I am still waiting for that third season. But anywho... This is a Chia Pet of Dustin from Stranger Things. I'm really excited to try this out. I can't really remember if I did a Chia Pet before, but I think this is my first time. So that'll be really exciting. So, the things that are next Of course, I got my college apparel. I go to Dean College. That was weird. So, I got apparel of my college. If you don't know which college I go to, I go to a college named Dean College. It's in Franklin, Massachusetts. I am really loving it there. And for Christmas, I got a Dean College mug, which is really cool. And I also got a brand new wallet of Dean College. It's a special wallet because it can hold my cards and it can even hold my keys. Next in line, 
this is going to be a weird gadget here. So I have this gadget here and the information that I got from the box and from the person that sent me this is that it cleans your glasses. Um, so how, it, how this works is that first you switch this lever and you basically brush the lenses with this. And then afterwards, this whole thing comes off. And this is how you clean it. See here, these cotton, are these cotton swabs? I'm not really sure. But they help clean your glasses. So that's what I got. I've been using this. It hasn't really worked out that well, but but I don't know. I think I'll keep this. So next up, it's small, but um, hold on. So, I don't remember if I got this from Christmas of last year or for my birthday, but I got a Nintendo Switch, and this was the game that I got for the Nintendo Switch. It's the, it's the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And my younger sister has been teaching me how to play it because I've only, I haven't played this game. I think I've played another Super Smash Bros. only once. So that's the basis of my knowledge for Super Smash. Okay, we're doing well here. So, my, uh, my present came in this box and it was in a form of a folded up piece of paper. Um, so, this event is actually happening this week. I got two tickets. I'm going to see School of Rock. They have a showing this week. And I'm going to be seeing it with one of my friends. And a thing that I wanted for Christmas or a thing that I've been wanting for either Christmas or my birthday is tickets to see musicals more often. I'm a theater kid. I want to be involved in the theater industry. I want to be a stage manager. So, thank you. I can't wait to see this. Um, these two next gifts, this one was in a, can't remember if it was one or for both, but I know that one of them was in a combination of presents that my younger sister gave me. My whole entire family knows that I have a love for, my favorite movie of all time is Casablanca which stars Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Nelson. And so this doesn't have hum this doesn't have 
Casablanca on it. But it does have Humphrey Bogart, in which I'm really excited because one of these movies, The Big Sweep, I have a friend in which recommended to watch The Big Sweep because it is a really good movie, I heard. So I can't wait. Also, I have, an, I think it's the entire collection, I'm not really sure, but it's a collection of Alfred Hitchcock movies, same from Psycho to Family Plot, and I've seen Psycho recently, and Alfred Alfred Hitchcock made some really good movies. Let me just tell you. I love Alfred Hitchcock. I want to watch all more of his movies, and now I can. Speaking of movies, this object doesn't really seem much now, but this device if hooked up to a computer, this is a DVD player for your computer so that you can watch DVD movies or TV shows on your computer through this device. And that is really cool. For these past couple of weeks, I have been... Well, right now we will call it binge-watching. But that's morally towards Netflix, so I've just been, like, doing a marathon of my favorite show of all time, The Twilight Zone. And I've been using this, so this is really helpful and really good. So my older sister got me this. She is really clever with gift giving. I'm just gonna say that. This is the one thing that she got me. Again, mind the mirrored effect. It is a... It is a mug. And it's, it's a mug that has crossword puzzles on it. So... Yeah, it's saying, don't just do the puzzle over a cup of coffee. Do it on your cup of coffee. Um, now, I love puzzles like these. And I think it's really interesting that it's on a mug. So, I'm really interested in this because I'm just wondering how do you write on here? I'm just wondering how you write stuff on here. I think there's a pencil included here that's special enough to write on the mug, but this is really cool. And another thing that my older sister got me was uh, the Lovecraft Anthology Volume 11. It's a graphic collection or like a graphic novel. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't like graphic novels. I'm just not in the realm with people that are fanatics of graphic novels and comics. This one, my older sister specifically picked out for me, mostly because all throughout high school, I was involved in a series of original plays that was loosely based off of H.P. Lovecraft. And 
This graphic collection, graphic novel, is a graphic collection of all of Lovecraft's stories, which includes his story of Cthulhu, the things that I'm familiar with through the show that I was involved in. So, I could try this out. I'm not a really huge fan of graphic novels, but I really do think that this is going to be interesting because I actually do have a bit of knowledge of the backstory. I wasn't really going to show you this because I didn't think if it was going to count or not as Christmas gift because I got this a couple days ago, but I put it on here because, you know, what the heck, I should put it on here. So this one I got from my friend. It was a couple days, or I think it might have been a week before. So, but my friend got me, one of my friends got me this. It is the book of Stranger Things, Worlds Turned Upside Down. So what this book basically is, it just tells everyone the basis of Stranger Things and how Stranger Things came together and background information and all that jazz. Yeah. And I think this is really cool. I'm a fan of Stranger Things, and so you may have not noticed, yeah, and I really love this book. I think the design is cool. I love Stranger Things as a whole, and I just love learning about what happens behind the stage. So this is really cool. I had to show this because it's also Stranger Things. They have Stranger Things Pez candy. Are you kidding me? This is just so cute. So I got the Dustin and the Lucas of Stranger Things Pez Candy, and I'm basically keeping them forever because it's Pez Candy Stranger Things. What? Another thing that's also cool is it is a mini arcade machine that actually works as an arcade. As you can tell by the buttons here, it is playable. The joystick moves, the buttons, you can press them. It all works. And this is really cool, mostly because I I was a gamer a long time ago. I'm not anymore. If I was a gamer, it would be towards old-timey. I shouldn't say old-timey. It's more like... It just brings emotions to me. Like, yeah, I get how this works. Yeah, this is really cool, you guys. Even though I played this, like, once on Christmas Day, but I feel like I am going to play this more when the time comes. Yeah, this is really cool. What's next on the list here? 
So I have a question for you. Which do you think came first, the chicken or the egg? Place your comments down below. <laughs> so um, I was so I got this card game mostly. It's called the chicken or the egg game. It's based on the old time question, which came first, the chicken or the egg? And it's basically wondering which came first. So which came first, Walmart or Kmart? And I think that's a really cool concept for a game to use a long time question. This long time question could be adapted to any of these scenarios. So I am addicted to this game. I am mostly addicted to the cards of this game. I don't play the actual game, mostly because I love telling pe I love being the host. But it's always nice to learn things. But anywho, I really love this game. Okay. I'm not really going to go into detail with how this thing works. I'm just going to give you the overview. Um, it doesn't seem much. Looks like an iPad. It's actually a digital frame. So, yeah, it's a digital frame. That's really all it is, yeah. Uh, it's really cool. It's kind of like a, you go through your photo library and also other people can send you photos that will send directly to the digital frame, which I think is a really cool concept. So I will be displaying this in my dorm room just to have a memory and to just look at faces that I recognize and just to just to display this room. It's a digital frame. And this is really cool. I don't have the words, I'm sorry. This, I thought, was really funny. Most of you are probably not going to get this. But this one specifically towards me. So I brought home this caricature of me that I did for my college's Fall Fest home. And... I didn't remember if I left it here or not. I had to have left it here because they framed it for me. Which I thought it's really funny because I thought I had it with me. But this is really cool. This will be placed as one of the memorabilia pieces from my college days, just to look back on saying, oh, remember that fall fest in which you did a caricature of yourself? This will be part of this experience. This will be part of it, which I'm really excited about. I'm sorry for the quietness. I'm just going through these things over here. So, again, something similar to what I had in that box a while ago. This one also came in a box, which also came in a letter. 
and again fold a piece of paper. Now this one's specifically towards my college, but nearby my college there is a black box theater and I haven't really gone out into town much when I was in college, although I sort of want to, but it's just I never had the purpose. And now, now I have a purpose. I could go to the Black Box Theater with this gift certificate that my mom generously got me so that I could go to the theater with my friends, like hang out on Friday, go see a performance at the theater close by to my college. This is really cool. Mostly because I have been wanting to do something in my weekends without just staying on campus. Well, not really phrased like that. I want to be in the town of Franklin more often. And I think this, I will finally get my chance to be in town thanks to this. This is really close. And so this one's just a little knickknack for my desk. It's a desktop tetherball that I could just play around with while I'm doing my work on my desk. I haven't really opened it because I feel like I should open it when I'm actually back in college because because, yeah. <laughs> but I I'm usually not very fidgety when I do my work, but sometimes I do lose my focus. I don't know if this will be good or bad for me, to be honest, but I feel like it will be a good knickknack to my desk. Like a little desk decoration that I could use. I'm just checking around here to see if I... So my cousins from Pennsylvania got me more Keurig coffee cups. Uh, I already have a lot. I haven't really been using it as often, but it will come to a point in which I will need more Keurig cups. So, thank you in advance. I'm just checking the brands that these Curry Cups are made. I could live with this. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I'm not sure it really matters what the brands are. What matters the most is that I will thank you in advance for for me having more Keurig cups in the future. Okay. I believe I only have one left. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. You know I saved the best for last. <laughs> ba bam <laughs> I freaked out when I opened up the package to see the back of this. When I opened up the package, I turned it over. I was freaking out. Literally, Rosanna Pancino is my favorite YouTuber. 
and I've already used one of her recipes recently. It is the PB and J cookies, which can be found in the special occasions chapter under graduation school. And I made them, and it was a huge success. And so, so this is my prized possession, mostly because she is my favorite YouTuber. I'm sorry, I'm just in awe by this, because ever since she announced this, and ever since she, ever since Rosanna posted YouTube videos about this cookbook, I was just like, I want one so badly. I just want one so badly because I want to try these recipes. <laughs> like, they're so cute. They're so cute, and I just love her as a person, and <laughs> so I'm going to show you the recipe that I did. I'm sorry if I'm saying this a lot. Sorry for the mirrored effect here. But you can look at the picture here. I made these types of cookies and they were a huge success. And I just can't believe I have this book. Man. I still can't believe it. So... So, um, I think that's really it. I kind of want to say that I got a decent amount for Christmas. Not really a lot, not really too little, just a decent amount. And I am really excited with the presents that I got for 2018. And I know this video is coming out late because it's already the new year and I'm posting about last year's Christmas. <sighs> Please. I am doing my best with these videos, okay? So, yeah, also comment down below for any more suggestions for YouTube videos. I'll try to do my best with posting videos. I've been limiting myself to once or twice a month now. It's mostly because I've just been really busy. When I was in college, I was really busy with schoolwork. And then back home, I was really busy just hanging out with my family. And... I actually go back to college in a week. I'm starting my second semester. Yay! And I am really excited. And I also hope that this year is gonna work well for me. I feel like I see myself in good shape in this next year. Well, I mean, in this now year. Yeah, that's really all I have to say. Thank you. I'm really glad that I'm really grateful for my family. And I'm really just grateful for the connection that we have together. We're we are close a close yet distant family. And it's been really hard for us to be on the same level. So it's really special for us that these special occasions, we actually get to hang out with one another and to create a special bond. And I just love these holidays because families do come together. 
and it creates special memories. And that I am really grateful of. Anywho, thank you for joining me with this Christmas haul. As I said before, I'm going to try to post every once or twice a month. I'm not on a schedule or anything. I just post videos whenever I want. So, but thank you anyways for sticking with me. And, yeah, that's really all. Bye.